Hello guys, it's your boy Phil Shock and the Nice to Touch Oak here with a very special tribute video. I've actually tried recording this video three third time now. First time was something that I should not have recorded. And then the second time I probably said things in there that should not have been noted in it. So I didn't want to, because there were some people I mentioned it, and I don't want those people getting tagged and stuff like that, so I'm going to make a proper, proper video for my cat. For those who don't know, this cat right here, his name was Socks. Maybe in some videos you guys have seen, and some you haven't, Socks was my cat. that I had back in March of last year. And for about, just about a year, I've had Socks. Socks is a great cat, he's amazing, I love him. He was, amazing. he was just a bundle of joy at five years old, then he turned literally six. This upcoming, now technically six last year because his birthday was coming up, but. He's technically six. But that will change. That changed a few nights ago on a Thursday night around 9.30 to 10 p.m. Because a few days going into Thursday from Monday, he looked a bit more bloated. And I don't know if it was maybe some build-up gas he had like, coming inside of him or... His age came in and started some of the weight from all the food he was eating came in. I don't know. But he got really big, really slouchy, and didn't bother moving a lot. So what I did is I moved him to one room to where he can just move around and have fun. And then on Thursday night, like I said, around 9.30 to 10 p.m., I was going to check on him, give him a good night hug and kiss before I went to bed because... I gave him his own little special room just so he can relax in. As soon as I petted him and called out for his name, there was no purr, and then there was no feeling. And then I looked into his eyes, and they had rolled to the back of his head. Basically, just summing up for you guys. Socks has passed away. And it's either from an unknown heart attack that happened to him or some kind of maybe disease that was in him that I never know because he was actually updated for vaccines that I didn't even know of that he needed to be updated on because the vets didn't let me know that he renewed and stuff like that. And I was actually planning to take him to the vet to get his body and stuff checked out when I had to take Sneaky in to get his rabies, act, rabies shots updated. So, yeah. I wouldn't lie to you guys when I, when I realized this was a reality. I broke down for several hours. I, because for a lot of people that don't, look at this but for me I look at this when I have a pet I consider it my child the reason why I consider it my child is because I care for my animals like how I would care for my how my kid how would I would train with my kids in real life and to me it was just a hard thing to to go through. I had to let some of my friends know that were meaningful fun to me. I had to actually call my mom because she was one of the people I talked to the most about and stuff like that. And it was it was not easy. I will admit, I 
feel sad. I feel devastated that he's gone. But if there's one thing that I did right was I gave Sox a home when probably no one could have given him a home. When I adopted him, like I said, he was five years old. He was in the Humane Society due to the fact that his previous owner had passed away. Now that Sox has passed, I'm hoping that he'll be able to go and see his previous owner in heaven. And get to let him know that someone cared for him, and loved him, like he was his own. I hope Sox will have all the catnip and <laughs> canned food that he can have up there. And I really just hope that in the future... Socks will be remem will be a remembrance. I don't, know, I don't care if I'm saying it wrong to a lot of people. To me, I will always have socks. I will keep the pictures I've had with him, and this is another reason why I made to make this video, so people, including myself, can have this video to remind everyone of how amazing socks was. And. Luckily, Sox, when he passed, did not suffer. He had a peaceful sleep. And in my mind, Sox probably knew some stuff was coming. So I think Sox had accepted what was going to happen with him. And let Faith basically take his life. He accepted his fate, and he went down like a man, instead of fighting in a pain that he probably knew he couldn't win. So with that, it does pay me to say that he is gone. I took care of Socks properly, and I put him in his box where I first got him, and he was taken care of respectively, honorably, and I made sure I told him that I loved him. I made sure I told him that I loved him much I cared for him, and then I left him, and it's, it's something that I'm going to have to deal with, luckily, well not luckily, but due to the fact this whole flu as a lot of people are going to know what it is, I won't say what, but the flu has forced restaurants and stuff like that to basically close their bills and those are doing to go orders. So what has happened is my boss has come up to me and we're closing our place down. So I have about definitely a guarantee at least three and a half weeks or so because we're not going to open up again till maybe after Easter. It will depend on that. But I'll have some time before I go back to work to reflect on this. Remember how life sh how life can be short, even for animals. Spend time loving Sneaky and Ouija a lot. Relaxing my mind and just doing the best I can to handle this situation that has happened. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you're going to leave a like, leave a like for Socks. It's one like equals one prayer for him in heaven. I thank you all so much for tuning into this video, and to Socks, I love you, buddy.